but I think with my my thing is like it felt like you know I've talked about in the beginning of the season where a win for the Warriors this season is obviously a championship but another thing would be if Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody are able to fill in solid rotation pieces so you don't need to go get a DiVincenzo and a Jermichael Green you could rely on those guys and you don't have to spend your money in the offseason for uh vet men contracts um I almost feel like Kaminga has like solidified that like the way I know he's it's only been like a two game stretch you know you know I've been telling you for the last seven games that I thought he's been doing this <laughs> just with like smaller minutes and now he's getting more minutes and still doing it I feel like Kaminga has just completely bought in into the warrior system and it's like like the perfect guy for it and you know having those athletic tools and also just playing with the the mindset of of off ball screens and just you know playing through the system and not always trying to get your own bucket i felt like when we were watching when i was watching the utah jazz game last night i think kaminga almost thought like okay it's one of those games where i could just like shoot a bunch of shots and in the beginning when he went in he kind of started to do that and i almost feel like there was a timeout where it's like no it's actually not one of those games mm -hmm. and he almost mixed the i'm gonna play like like kaminga like how i want to with that warriors system and like that was his best game of his career right like just the things he was doing where he wasn't like he was creating a shot just by like you know having an advantage and just going and just bully balling that guy and then when people miss layups he would just have these posterizing put back dunks so i think that him is for me he's an example of you have the people internally can you develop them by actually giving them playing time like can moses moody actually get consistent playing time because I still think that he's so solid. Like when he puts up a three point shot, I'm like, I think it's going in. I think he's at that that point for me where he hit those two clutch threes last night against Utah. Mm -hmm. He had some good ones. I think I, I don't know. I forget if he played in Houston. I think he did. I think he he hit some good ones in Houston. Yeah, but, he played. He played. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think it's I think it's finding him minutes. I don't know how you do it because I guess he has to jump the Dante DiVincenzo spot, but the kid needs to play and i think it'll although there might be some bumps and bruises in the beginning of the season with playing kaminga and moody a lot of minutes i think it benefits you more in the long run than by them not playing and not really getting as much minutes and relying on those seven guys with divincenzo and jermichael and pool and just riding that all the way through i think those two young guys have the more potential to benefit more if given the opportunity in a long season that would be my fix but it probably is a trade. <laughs> it's, I, I think it's trade. You remember, was it last year when they were saying Kaminga and Wiseman for, was it Siakam? Was like Siakam was unhappy in Toronto or something? It was, yeah, no. So before Kaminga and Moody got picked, it was just like the talk of the town to say Wiseman and 7 and 14 for, and no, Wiggins, Wiseman and 7 14 and name your guy. So it was yeah. Wiggins, Wiseman, Kaminga, Moody. And yeah. it was Ben Simmons. It was Pascal Siakam. It was Bradley Beal. That type of package was was what I remember. Because Siakam would be like the perfect player for the Warriors. Yes, right he now. would be. Oh, my would God. Be. Uh, would you do he, that? He, would you he, do Wiggins? He, he gets he gets hurt a lot, though. Wiggins, Wiseman, Kaminga, Moody? I think Siakam, Siakam would be the uh, Draymond replacement. Like, he would, he, he would be a... He would be able to um, soften the blow of whenever Draymond is is not good anymore, uh, be, because I th I think he he can sort of do a whole lot of things. Um, so okay, so Kaminga, he's he's definitely back. I I've this I don't like picking on Anthony Lamb because I think Anthony Lamb is is a kind of a nice story. Like if the Warriors were better. We'd be singing Anthony Lamb praises, but because we're not, because they're not, he's kind of a little bit of the the target. Um, I think Lamb can play with Steph on the court, and I think that is it. Whenever he, whenever Steph is not on the court, I don't know if this is like someone needs to crunch these numbers, but. Like with five seconds left on the shot clock, somehow Anthony Lamb always has the basketball. I was about to say no, because <laughs> I I, like uh, when we play another two K reference, when we play two K, we always call that the grenade. We're giving someone yeah. the grenade because yeah. we know they're going to miss it. We don't want that on our shot record. And it seems like either they give that to Anthony Lamb every single time, but you're right, it is like five, seven to or like six to five seconds left on the shot clock. So it's almost like he could still make another pass, but he takes it upon himself. To be the grenade guy and we go see that one-handed shot which 
It's gross. He he made a few in the in the season. I don't remember the last time he he made more than one. Um, but yeah, so those are the minutes I would like to see Kaminga get. I want to see Kaminga get those lamb minutes if for whatever reason Steph is on the court and you want to play lamb because he's setting the right screen and he's rolling correctly and he's not bringing his own defender to help trap Steph, like all of those things. Great. But let's start giving some of those minutes to Kaminga and seeing what he can do in those lamb minutes. 